we're also celebrating you and beautiful inspirational jewelry from Michael Anthony. I'm here with Anthony Palercio. And one of the most demanded items from you always <laughs> is a nativity stone. If you are unfamiliar, you will be absolutely in awe mm -hmm. of the story. The nativity stone guaranteed to be from the birthplace of Christ. Look at how gorgeous Fabulous. this is. Fabulous. Comes with a certificate of authenticity. I can't believe that for under $40, you can own a piece of the birthplace of Christ. This is, this is so hard wow. to wrap you. Well, <sighs> let me say this. I've been selling nativity pieces since 1999. Wow. That's 19 years. And when I first started to sell it, I was so skeptical on how true could this be? And they mm. showed me and this and that. And then in the year 2000, when they had the Jubilee, the Vatican selected the Nativity Stone as the Jubilee Stone. And wow. they verified all of the documentation. Here is a, an image of the actual birthplace. Christ was born in a cave, just like that. And then the Church of the Nativity was built on top of that location. Oh, wow. Now, from day one, they knew that Christ was born there because immediately thereafter, they started the pilgrimages. That's the inside of the church. The church, and you enter through the same oh gosh, doorway that the cave was. That's the actual spot. It's a 14-point star representing oh, just like that. the 14 stations of the cross. And... They had to do a renovation where they opened up the hole and they made it wider. And there was a man by the name of Stanley Slotkin who was the actual, actually he was the, farty, the father of party rental and that's him there. That's yeah. the first nativity cross right there. And it was his idea to take these stones and use them to make money but give the money back to, he was a mm. tremendous philanthropist. This is actually an affidavit by the mayor and the uh, priest at the time. This is the Vatican. So that plaque is on the wall in the Vatican. So there's no doubt in my mind that this is the genuine stone. Right. We have been making these. You have a certificate for us that actually shows just, it should be come together with the... We showed a little close-up of it, but I don't think we have one right. in... And this is the actual church. So every piece has a small stone. Now, look at the rating on this piece. 4.8, oh 4.7. And I can only tell you, I've worn this piece now for 20 years. I have the bracelet, I have a cross. And whomever purchases it, you should read the testimonials. A couple of times a year, I sit down and I read them, and there's like over 100 of them. Oh, yeah. And they'll, they'll bring a tear to your eye mm. for how happy this piece makes people. I was in Vegas on Wednesday for my sister-in-law's 60th birthday, mm. and when we were walking through the lobby, a couple came up to me, and the man had this cross on. Oh my goodness, I love so that. Not only do I know that people love it, but I know from my own experience that once you own one of these and you do your own research, you Google Nativity Cross, you'll, you're going to see pictures of the film clip that I just showed you. You can read the documentation of the things that I just said. But this comes with the chain. And mm -hmm. does this one Stainless have the prayer steel. on the reverse side? Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, seal it, my soul as your, your own. own. So that the reflection in me may be a light for all to see. Amen. I love that. That's a beautiful, beautiful prayer. But look at the way that it's made. I absolutely... That love the engraving. This is great for a man or a woman. Both. Mm -hmm. Both. I have stories that we've heard from viewers. The most, the one that impacted me the most, a woman called up during the month of January, and she had lost her mother and her sister in one month. Oh. And the woman said, that cross got me through mm. the most difficult time of my life. And I, I just felt like melting in my seat mm. that someone would say something like that 
but she said the nativity stone was just so precious to her. Mm. And think about it, I've been there only once, and it's so dangerous to go there. My brother Michael was there just like six months ago, and he couldn't get to the church. Oh, That's wow. how dangerous it was to go into that area. Wow. So this is something that even if you went to Israel, went to the church, they don't have these there. Mm -mm. We produce these, we have the exclusivity on those stones. Mm -hmm. I've been selling them here now for 19 years. And it's just one of the most amazing, amazing pieces that you'll ever find. This is the affidavit that you get with each piece. And it actually tells you where the stone came from, what year it was, it was in 1963. And this That's is your up, assurance that this is an actual nativity stone. But it's just an amazing piece because you, you look at the price and you say, wait a minute, how is that possible? Mm. This stone could have witnessed the birth of Christ. How scary is that? That's, I mean, that's I mean, really it's, it's powerful, right? It's just so right? hard to wrap your head around it because, mm. yeah, here's the, the video again. Wow. I mean, it's just an amazing, amazing story for every Christian, mm -hmm. you know, and that church is shared by all Christians with your Protestant and Catholic. Sure, of course. So you see this piece and then you follow the story. And it's not a hard story to understand because that is the location. Mm -hmm. From the time Prove Jesus it. was born, people started going to that site. The church was built in the year 300, I think, in 56 or 57. So it's a very Pretty old close. church. Yeah. But we know that that was the spot, right. period. Yeah. Okay, because it was only, you know, a small chamber when it started, and then they built the church mm -hmm. around that location. And this comes with that certificate of authenticity, and you get the chain mm -hmm. as well, stainless steel. I want to be sure that you understand that, it, because I was curious, I was, I was afraid, I was like, well, I'm going to guard it with my life. It actually is encapsulated. Encaps yeah. It looks like a relic. It, well, yeah. it is, right? It, I mean, it is well, a no, relic. Well, no, a relic, a relic oh. is a part of a vestment from a saint. I guess I was thinking like a like relic well, with look, a small R. It looks like <laughs> it looks like a relic. The other great thing about the the um, affidavit here is that you can write your own message. We had a grandmother who bought these for her grandchildren, but she says I won't. Oh. They're powerful. <laughs> Probably won't be around. Mm. So she write, She wrote them uh, her message. So. Wow. But now I'm going to cry. Yeah, well. <laughs> but those are the stories that we hear. What more meaningful gift could you possibly give someone that will outlive you, that the message yeah. still goes on, that the this blessing... This will outlive everyone. Absolutely. And, well, and the and, stainless is so... And predates so... everyone as well, <laughs> right? And it's it's an amazing piece. Like, when you feel it, Mm -hmm. in your hand. You know, and, and crosses are the number one heirloom piece that get passed down. Oh, absolutely. As a jeweler, I fixed many a bale and many a cross. And by the way, look at the size oh, of that bale. It's beautiful bale. in size. If you have your own chain, you could wear this with a gold chain. But you'll feel the substance of the piece it's indestructible. Mm -hmm. I mean, Seriously. And these it, will outlast everyone. It comes on that 18 inch long chain. And it's an adjustable perfect, chain. Perfect. Um, adjustable, two inch, two inch adjustable, and perfect for man or woman. Mm -hmm. Nice lobster claw on there. You know, so, so this is something that when you give to someone, you know, you guys just sold some beautiful garments. Yes. Okay, for basically the same price. But the reality <laughs> is, the garment is going to wear, okay, one stain and it's gone. Sure. This is something that it's literally indestructible. You can't wear it out. The stone is never going to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. The way it's encapsulated, it's totally protected. And, and it makes such a perfect gift. Mm -hmm. Men or women, when we first started selling them, remember one of the testimonies, woman said, I bought one for myself, and then my husband wanted one, then my son wanted <laughs> one, then my daughter wanted one. So we made different variations. This, I think, is one of the most popular ones that we've ever sold. And for, I mean, look at the quality 
I mean, it, feel. You can feel it. Yeah. It's substantial. And the polish. See, stainless is so hard, but it's a great metal because it doesn't tarnish. The, mm. For me, it's my dream metal. Yeah. I get to make what I want without worrying about, because if this were in gold, easy, 